Eight, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Eli Gillespie. Welcome to Devil's Advocate on Sports 97 FM. I'm here with Jonathan and Andrew. Um, if you ever want to give us a call during the show, the number is 1 800 223 9797. So, topic one I don't know if you guys saw this, but about a week ago, former NFL nose tackle Terrence Knighton went on a rant about the discrepancy between James Harden's contract and the contract of Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he said that Aaron Rodgers should be more, earning more uh, than James Harden. Uh, do you guys share the same opinion? Um, yeah, I think Knighton's got a good point because I have a number here and uh, the NBA average salary is twice as much as the NFL average salary and the NFL football is a punishing sport on your body mm -hmm. so these guys are really some of them will have a lot of brain damage and they're really risking their lives out there every time whereas the NBA is less of a physical sport and it doesn't seem fair that they would get paid twice as much for not as not much punishment and brutality. I actually think that it's okay that the NBA has higher salaries because remember they're playing with a 15-man roster versus a 53-man roster of football. So, first of all, there's more money to go around, and they play a longer season of 82 games versus 16 games, traveling quite more often. And they are getting many more TV deals and shoe deals and stuff. So there's more money to go around. So are they supposed to say, oh, yeah, we're not going to give you this extra money even though we can give you extra money? Very, very good point. All right, on a different note, who do you think is buying and selling for this MLB trade deadline? Well, I think that the Reds are going to buy, actually, because they are in many years of a rebuild. And I think now with the addition of Hunter Green and now that they have Zach Kozart, now the starting all-star shortstop, I think they'll be ready to start buying to build on the upward swing. Jonathan, do you think Andrew McCutcheon will be traded? There are rumors about that. Um, I think it could happen. You never want to be too certain, but it's definitely a big possibility that McCutcheon could be on his way out of Pittsburgh. What about the athletics? Um. I don't know. The athletics, you don't really know what they're going to do. They might make a move. They might decide to sit tight during the trade line. So you, you never know, really know with the athletics. Could Anything could really happen for them. Yeah, the athletics with the money ball. But ever since the trade with John Lester and Joanna Cespedes have really been on the downward swing, but now have possible Yonder Alonso because his stock is rising because of how well he's been hitting the ball. So I think they're going to continue to sell, actually. All right, Cubbies, buying, selling, or a combination of both? Um, I'm going to go a combination of both, but more selling. Because um, I think Javier Baez, there's some rumors that he could get traded. Schwarber, some people, after moving, him being moved down, some people think the Cubs uh, want to get rid of him. So I think those might be two players that they might be wanting to sell, but um, I think they're too good to completely clean house. So I think they got to keep a lot of pieces together. I agree that they're going to not completely um, sell out because they were just in a rebuild that was five years and they just won a World Series. Why would they go into a complete rebuild when they still have most of the pieces? from that World Series team with the exceptions of Travis Wood, Dexter Fowler, Jason Hamill, even though Jason Hamill didn't do very much for them. But I think what we're going to see is a lot of one-for-one -one big trades, maybe some minor league prospects because maybe Candelario. But I think mainly it's going to be big one-for-one -one things like Javi Baez for maybe a starting pitcher. But we're not going to see much like we're not going to see many big player for like less players, but like, well, more players, but not as good players. All right, moving on, last topic, super teams. Warriors and Pats are probably going to rule their, um, well, they're both the defending champions of their respective leagues, and it looks like they are the favorites to repeat in both of their respective leagues again. Do you think anyone knows how to stop them? 
Um, yeah, I think the only really way to stop super teams is to create more super teams. It's kind of stupid as that sounds, but really, uh, you're not going to stop a super team by just having a good year. That's what makes them so super, I guess, is that, um, what do you call it? You can't just have, usually the team that wins the NBA Finals or the NFL Super Bowl, I guess, is the, a team that's on a roll and gets on a hot streak. But when a team is just so good in the stack of All-Stars, even if they're not playing well, if they have enough talent, even if you're tight and they're cold, it's still so hard to beat them. So I think the only really way to beat the Patriots and the Warriors is other superstars coming together to create other super teams. I think one way to stop a super team is by making sure that they don't add any more free agent pieces in the in the off season because what do you see with the Warriors too is that players are willingly going to them just to just to so they can win a title and eventually there's not going to be enough money to go around so you're going to have to really try to go after those players that are currently on them or looking to go to the Warriors and offer them big money also with the Patriots they picked up a lot of free agent pieces and one of the reasons why there is NFL free agency is to make sure that one team can't just continuously get better and better and better. But that's exactly what they're doing because people are not being aggressive enough with players who are getting offers from the Patriots. So they'll just end up going to the Patriots. So they need to break down. They need to break them down through NBA free. I mean NFL and NBA free agency. All right. Yeah, definitely. Well, pay cuts is definitely a thing that super teams need, which is why the Celtics aren't going to contend. But that's the conversation for tomorrow. Uh, so, everybody, thank you for listening. Um, remember, this is Devil's Advocate on Sports 97 FM. Thank you for tuning in on behalf of uh, Jonathan. Jonathan and Andrew. Hey, yep. I'm Eli. Uh, yeah. Have a good afternoon.